This is gonna be bad camera for y'all because the sun's behind me, but so be it. It's 8.54 a.m. Mother's Day morning, Sunday, and uh, we had a 9 a.m. appointment with Grandma for breakfast up at Grandma's house, which is back up that way. And we're walking up to the house, and here I walk over to Grandma's well house, and there's a crack in the PVC line. Main line, there's pissing water everywhere. So, good thing I showered and put on decent clothes for Mother's Day. So now I'm walking back to the house to uh, get our house to get my tool bag and put on a pair of boots and some crappy clothes so I can go climb around in that little well house. And... Fix the leak, question mark. And Miss Harmony got Grandma a whole, whole home, you know, inline water filter. It, it does all the things, right? Grandma had some coliform bacteria in her well, so we shocked it. And then she's got a high amount of iron. And then she's also got a couple other things going on. So we got a system specifically made for Grandma. And now it's just got to be installed. Well, guess what? Since we're going to have to cut the pipe anyway, now we got to put the water filter in. Yay. And walking through here this morning up to Grandma's house, right back in there. Actually, he was up underneath this log over this way. And he went into the water was a copper-headed rattle moccasin. And I had to go into full-blown dad bear mode. I was like, you're dead. Except I didn't have a clear shot. And I had the baby right next to me. So all of this is to say, <laughs> this whole concept of adventures and homesteading, yeah, it's a freaking adventure, man. Not to mention the mosquitoes are out here. This morning they're about the size of my watch dial they're huge i think they get probably a pint or two every time they land on you they get bit a couple more times i'm gonna be out of blood so <laughs> all of you people out there that need to come out of her my people and need to get out of the city and need to get out into the country on a piece of land which i would strongly encourage you to do just understand when you get here, this is not city living. Uh, unless you have a lot of money because you're gonna be doing a lot of stuff yourself. There's gonna be a lot, of, I mean, look, just look right here. I got this cute little deck on the back of my house, except for the fact that there's a tree growing out of it. That's probably gonna need some attention, <laughs> you know? So it's, you're always doing stuff. There's always something to do. I mean, let's see, so far this weekend, it's Sunday. Let's see, we unloaded a trailer full of stuff at Grandma's. We about tore the back of the trailer off of the trailer, had to re-weld that trailer. We, I've been to three different towns slash cities. Hold on, we gotta get in the trailer and get my tool bag. Oh, it's much cooler in here. That's nice. In the three different towns slash cities. Oh, sawzall. Cordless sawzall, a man's best friend. Almost as good as a golden retriever. Oh, in three different cities, chasing materials and for different projects. Planted 210 linear feet of corn and 210 linear feet of black eyed peas. The music group, not the legume. And went Mother's Day shopping and burnt brush 
and had Bible study and Torah, Torah portion out by the fire. <sighs> and did a little bit of rudimentary framing. <clears throat> did some mowing. And now have to go do some plumbing. Since Friday afternoon, it's Sunday morning. Okay. <laughs> so... Or I should say since Friday morning, truth be told. So, and I've spent $600 since Friday morning. Just on random things. Food, materials, electrical materials, plumbing materials, welding materials. Um, you know, all the things. Chickens, chicken food, uh, fuel. Spent $150 in fuel since Friday morning. So, <clears throat> understand, like, it's doable for you to come out of her, my people, and you should, but you're gonna have to harden up a little bit. And unless you got a ton of money to pay other people to do this stuff for you, you're going to be burning some cash, bro. Oh, smells good in my house. I need boots. All right, I got to go. Moral of this video, the point of this video is, number one, expect the unexpected. Number two, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Number three, yes, you need to come out of her, my people. But when you get here, this is not the city. Uh, it's Sunday morning, and I'm fixing to do some framing and plumbing. And then I got to hop in the truck and go back to Babylon to work for four days to pay for all this crap up here. So, also, Grandma is having a real rough go of it with her fibromyalgia lately. So, those of you who are, in, who are inclined to uh, beseech our Creator for intercession, please do so on her behalf. Um, yeah, she's... Health-wise, she's okay, but she, she has fibro, and she's just been, her joints have really been hurting her lately. So, um, a prayer to relieve her pain would be great and deeply appreciated. So, that's it. If you're not already out of her, come out of her, my people. But when you get out here, you better have your mindset squared away because you're going to get so PO'd at everything that's constantly breaking and failing and needs your attention and... Uh, might be a good idea. If you're a unitasker, start getting good at unitasking on multiple things at the same time. Also known as multitasking. Because everything needs your attention. And it all seems like it's got to get done right now. And if you can't prioritize the difference between what needs to happen right now and what can wait an hour, a day, a week, a month, you're going to get overwhelmed. And if you get overwhelmed, you're going to throw your hands up in disgust and go, screw this, I'm not doing this anymore. And you need to do this. So don't get overwhelmed. Trust your training. If you don't have training, get training. Trust your training. Trust your equipment. Trust your God. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. You're being recorded. Okay. Yep. I love being recorded. I know. You want to show everybody your fabulous Mother's Day here? Oh, oh, it looks so good. So in bloom. So in bloom. Are you going to do the thing, like the shampoo commercial thing, like this? No. No? no. You want me to do it for him? I'll do it for him. Uh, uh, uh. You're distracting me. You distract me all the time. That's what the dang shorts you got on. This girl is a harmony. Okay. Do your plumbing. Wrapping with, with Teflon tape. Wrapping. 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 Yo, this is my tape, yo. Wish I was a rapper. You are. You're a Teflon tape wrapper. Mm. All right, then. Stage one plumbing. Did you say what it was for? Like yeah, it's a, it's a whole home water filter. Whole house water filter. It is from, where are you from? This is from Perfect Water Technologies. Okay. And 
from my research it was kind of the best thing for the price it is kind of pricey um, but it's got a it's a three-stage water filter uh -huh. um, first stage is sediment it's got a 25 uh, 10 5 and 1 micron filter so it'll get out all those little tiny particles uh, second stage is the radial iron filter. Mm -hmm. um, it is going to eliminate all the iron that's in the water. Now with this system, the iron level has to be less than three parts per million. Um, anything more than that and you really need a oxygenator tank. Um, but with our water tests that we did, we are uh, at two parts per million. So this filter should do the trick to get rid of the iron. Um, and then the last stage is a carbon filter. Um, and that will remove any other impurities that we may have. And prior to doing this system, uh, we did a shock chlorination treatment on the well and um because we had some bacteria going on in there so i uh, did that and flushed the system from the shock chlorination and now onto the filter and it's what day mother's day and <laughs> it's <laughs> just about 10 a.m <laughs> and we're doing this right now because why uh, because upon walking up to grandma's, I heard water spraying and came to the pump house and there's a T that has a plug in it uh, for when you need to drain the system and that T had split where the plug was. So um, I told TJ, well, if we have to cut it apart to replace this tea we might as well cut it apart and <laughs> put in this put filter. all this crap in there <laughs> <laughs> it's one in the same right yeah yeah okay so if you're gonna do it just go ahead and do it hey are you some kind of knowledgeable plumber chick or something uh you know i have i have my many faces ish yeah ish it's yeah. my multiple personalities multiple personalities yeah that. that's good well, thanks for being such a BA woman, baby. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. We'll check back in with you internet people here in a little bit. So the reason we're doing this is because the plug broke. The T. The plug in the T broke. The T split that the plug was in. The T split that the plug was in? Yeah, see? It wasn't the broken plug? Ah. I thought, because go ahead, reach in that bag down there. See, I have a new tee with a plug. I thought that the plug broke. No. And then you tried to pull the wool over my eyes and just no, get us to do all this. No, the tee broke. See, it's all fractured. Don't break your tee. Fine. Well, I break you every night. Fine. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. Oh, girl. We made it this far, so far. Look at that big old saw blade. Yeah. We made it this far. Inside the well house that I was going to tear down and rebuild because it's a POS. And then now we're doing this. So which, One day. Which we'll have to gently preserve during the destruction process to build a new well house. <sighs> Woman. Nice filter. <laughs> That's a sediment filter. So plumbing whiz, the water comes up out of here, goes over here, tees from the pressure tank, back over to here, up through here, into one filter, two filter, three filters, then it will come down here and around and then back into here which is the water line to the house 
but we're going to hang the filters first and silicone the living crap out of them uh, because these o-rings have to be uber lubed see down inside there oh yeah put it in there and these filters are expensive um to replace all three super close up sorry to replace all three is about three hundred dollars how much was the whole system whole system was four hundred and forty mm -hmm. uh with shipping plus i went overboard on <laughs> hold on oh, hold on wait. now go oh hold on wait where what? am i starting from i don't know we got a phone call we got a phone call right and then that turned the video off. Okay. So now, oh, just it was continue. 440 plus shipping. 440 And you plus went shipping. overboard on the plumbing fittings. Right. And which that is was over like here. Those are probably sucks. another 80 bucks. Another 80 bucks. So we're into this thing, 520 plus shipping, 550 bucks. Right. Okay. And the um, filters are 300 to replace them. Right. But they are uh, extended life filters. So you should get about 95,000 gallons right through the system before you are needing to replace the filters and for my grandmother who is a single person that... grandma single yeah we should get at her on farmersonly.com we should okay go um, ahead but anyways uh for her and her water usage, um, these filters should last her three to four years. Right. So. 75 to 100 bucks a year. When you break it down, it's like six to eight dollars a month that. Right. The having clean water will cost her. Hmm. I don't know if we have that in the budget. We just a just, cheap water bill. We should just not have clean water for grandma. No, she needs clean Oh, okay, water. fine. We'll have yeah. clean water for grandma. So, grease. grease. Talk, talk about greasing these O-rings. Okay, so we got some O-rings. Right. Right there. And they are... The one on top there. They be factory greased. <laughs> <laughs> they be factory greased. They be factory greased, but it says to add a lot more. Okay. So... Um, we got to grease the top one, we got to grease the second one, and then we have to grease these threads as well as the housing housing threads. Um, otherwise, the casings get like locked up and you can't remove them. There's, there's um, too much friction yeah. between the this thing, the filter housing, and the um, port that it attaches to. And you can't overcome that friction to make it tight enough for these O-rings to seal. Right. We ran into that in the power construction industry with a lot of different things. So, so yeah. they give you a tube of grease. Uh-huh. Pretty puny. Um, Hold on, what does that say? Home master. master. Silicone lubricant. Do not ingest. Right. That is not fun time. It's not a catch-up packet. It's, that is not fun time. No. It's it's for water time. Yeah, not okay. for internal use. Not for internal <laughs> use. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, woman. <laughs> so so from the reviews that I read on the system when I was doing research, um, everyone said buy more. So, you will need more. So I bought two more. Hopefully, but, so we'll have one, basically one per housing for each of the three per, filters. Yeah, right, for each for canister. canister. Yeah. That we'll put on there. All right. Okay. Grease me up. All right. Okay. Bye, filter. Bye. That's the iron one. This is the iron one. And that's the one that's really heavy. This one's really heavy. If I talk into this housing, I sound really cool. Oh my gosh. I'm a professional and I'm helping. Stop. You're not helping. <laughs> Give me the housing. <laughs> Put your filter in the, in my. Oh yeah, just like that. Yeah, this thing is heavy. This one is probably thirty pounds. Wait, where'd my grease go? Where'd my lube. Your lube is up in the up in there. Uh... All right, so we got the first one in. The first one's sediment. Then we got the iron. This is the iron going in now. And then the final one is the carbon. Correct. Carbon. Just yeah. like that. Oh yes. 
just like that. That's the spot. This is going to be like an X-rated filter install video. That's good. YouTube doesn't really like me anyway, so. Okay. I must, okay. I must Bye, smush peeps. the lube with my fangar. This is the last one. This is the last one. This is the carbon filter. Home master. Activated coconut shells. Man, how you activate a coconut shell? Coconut shell, activate. <laughs> I don't know. Activated coconut shells. So, anyway, yeah. Do not use with water that is microbiologically unsafe. Roger that. Okay, so this is the last one that's gonna go in. Then we'll do this. Go video. There it goes. Okay, things on the hook. Filters are in. Sediment. Carbon. No. No. Sediment. Iron. Carbon. See? Out. We gotta do that. Out. Now we gotta get it from here back into there, down there. Yeah, I know. It's dark in here. Sorry, people. There's no light bulb up here because this is barely a structure. Okay, and look at look at the electrical. This is why I wanted to tear this apart and start over again. But then this happened. Then this happened. So now we get to do all of this now as a stopgap measure and a band aid to get Grandma's water back up. And then we put a union here and a union here so that when we do wreck this building, we can undo this union, undo that union pull that lag bolt and that lag bolt and take this off destroy everything around this save the wellhead this plumbing and the pressure tank and then redo the electrical redo the structure and then on the far side of that wall this is going to go out another 16 feet or so and become a tool shed and a wood shed as well so it's a multi-purpose structure that is the well house the tool shed and wood firewood storage for grandma up here at grandma's house. Okay, so the inside is done, the filters are done. Now we need to get the outside done. And it's oh 12 11. Yay! That's legs. Oh yeah. Look at those. Oh yeah. I'm looking at the pipe though. Alright. From here to here. Up to here. One, two, two pieces, three fittings. Go. Go, go, go. Go. Daddy needs lunch. I'm sure if you went in and sweet talk grandma real good, she might feed you. Yeah, but it'll take four hours. Go. I'm going. Sucker. <sighs> Gotta show them the end of it. Tired? Yeah, me too. Is it hot out here? It's hot. It's just now one o'clock. And not too bad. Not too bad. So there it is. Water comes out of the wellhead. And we're not gonna pressure test yet, just so everybody's aware. We're gonna wait two hours. Uh, I probably won't be here at that point. But I'll give you an update. You'll, you'll give me an update. You're going to have to shoot a quick video with your phone and send it to me so I can show the peeps. Maybe. Do it. We'll see. There's no maybe. Do it. Okay. So, water comes out of here, runs through here, goes over to here. Gets pressurized. Gets pressurized by this tank. That does pressure things that makes the water go through here and into here, through the... S uh, silt particulate particulate sediment. sediment through the words filter then through the iron filter and then through the carbon filter and then out of here through here around here across the top of this little saddle that i made out of two by four to support this long run of pipe into here we ran out of 90s so we made a 90 with a t and a cap in here down on the ground or into the ground underground watch out baby Watch out. Oh, oh, oh. Then across the ground and then into the house over there. So, there it is. And this is made by, this is the Home Master Whole House Water Filter. Uh, let's see, Hilo, whatever, y'all can read that. 
There it is. Hello, Mike Foxtrot, 3 Sierra Delta, Golf Foxtrot Echo Charlie, Scottsdale, Arizona, Perfect Water Technologies. So, we will let you know how this goes. And there it is. All the pieces and parts are drying. If this was low pressure, I'd wait five minutes and turn it on. It's not, and I really don't want to have to do this again. So we're just going to let it sit, wait a couple hours and flip it on, and hopefully by ya, everything stays stuck together. So, yay! Hi y'all, so TJ's gone. Um, he went back to Texas, and I am here. It's about uh, 6 o'clock, and I'm checking the water system that we did for... My grandmother so um, here we go so as you can see everything is ran um, system is on and we are leak free which is good news um, I've already gone through and flushed all the faucets outside um, when you do your initial flush, you could have a little bit of black, uh, kind of gray in the water. And that is just from uh, the loose carbon in the filters. So um, I'm letting it rest for a minute and then I will be going back through and running everything once more. And then we should be good. All right. Bye.